Hey everybody, welcome back to Hang With Harv. Today, we're gonna take this log that I got and uh, clean the bark off of, and we are going to cut it down, put some legs on it, and turn it into kind of a uh, an ax block slash bodgers type chopping thing. <laughs> so stick around. Harbor Freight on sale, 20 bucks, baby. Woohoo! nice flat spot on there and I think what I want to do is make a saw cut here and then cut in from the side here so that I have a little bit of a ledge over here <laughs> all right <clears throat> who out there can tell from listening to that saw what in the world is wrong with it? Leave me a comment below, because ever since I got this saw, and I did buy it used, I bought it at a, a secondhand store. I have to say, ever since I got it, I, it works sometimes. I haven't necessarily seen this problem here, but it works for short bursts, and then I can't get it to work anymore. Well, we'll just keep battling away at it, that's all I can say. Not the quickest process, but, you know, it'll get edited down. And like that, it's done. <laughs> All right, next step is going to be to uh, put legs on this. So we're going to go find some legs. Now, where's my draw knife at? I buried it. Clean it up. I buried it under other crap, didn't I? Heck, sure you did. Hex to the yeah. <clears throat> All right, guys. So. Just getting set up here inside. So as I'm preparing to build a shave horse, uh, I don't necessarily have one. So we're gonna work on this using the, the vise here that I have on my bench. First thing I gotta do is just knock off a couple of these, I don't know what you call those. I wanna say knots, but they're not really knots. They're this is the stem of the branch. That, this is not the nicest uh, thing to do to your vice, especially my vice, because I didn't make mine out of hardwood. I, it, it's just made out of pine. It gets a little bit dinged up. So all we're going to do is try and clean this up a little bit. And as you can tell, and other people have said, when using a draw knife, your, your arms only go back so far. So you're not going to hurt yourself. And even if you know, you pulled it all the way back, you know, the handles are going to hit into your body. At least they hit into my body. <laughs> so I'm not going for round here. All I'm going for really is just to kind of clean this up. So I'm just trying to clean it up a little bit. Once I have it cleaned up, we'll, we'll cut a tenon on the end that will then uh, drill a hole in the bottom of the, of the block to fit into. It's not really the proper angle to be working on this stuff. But like I said, you, you kind of make do with what you got, right? So I've got a knot here. So I'm just going to turn it over and I'm just going to kind of work it a little bit in the other direction. So I can work myself past it. And all the shavings that we're generating right now, uh, we can reuse here in the shop. Because I have a wood-fired forge um, as well that I use. So I will be reusing all of that to fire my forge. If you're not into that, you can always use the shavings that we're making um, as kindling, fire starters. So like I said, I'm not going for round. You can kind of see it's more of a triangular shape still uh, from where I split it off. but. Like I said, that's so now we start taking off some facets here. 
just to get us down to round and one of the other you know tricks tricks that you can do is you can use a, a drill bit you know an auger and you can use it to make a mark on the end beforehand so you can use a, an auger to make it I happen to have a, a circle template from uh, my days drafting and doing architectural drawing so I can kind of see you know an idea of inch and three quarters inch and a half I don't think I have an inch and a half auger I do have an inch and three eighths all right so again this isn't like it's a tutorial on how to make a tenon or anything but you can see that's basically what I've got I've got a round part at the end of this more or less triangular shaped hard hunk of wood that will become a leg off camera I went ahead and and pretty much did a very similar uh, bit of shaping with the other legs so the next thing to do on this chopping block is to mark out for our legs I mean, I don't know how, how you're really supposed to lay this out. I mean, I guess that'd be all right. What's the worst that can happen? <laughs> it fall over? It should be a triangle, but at least I think it should be a triangle. Dude, I don't know how you're supposed to set this stuff. I honestly, I see guys doing this crap all the time, but shit, if I know how to do it. Any way I go, it's going to be caca. It's all caca. You know what? This is not a tutorial. This is just what I'm doing. <laughs> I never said I was perfect. By all means, I hope nobody ever thought that. Gee willikers. Gee willikers there. Sorry there, beef. All right, and we got our trusty gauge set up here. We'll splay them all out from the center, see? So let me try and find a center point. What could go wrong? All right, guys, we're back. We've got uh, the, the first two holes are, are done. We're just work, getting started working on this final hole here. And again, trying to keep checking it, make sure that I'm, I'm lined up as I'm getting started. Once you get it going a little bit, it pretty much guides itself. But until you get there, you kind of have to keep checking it. Damage is fit. Whew. Mishaps happen. Make sure that I'm pressing down as I turn the screw. Push, push down and turn. You get a good workout. <laughs> as you guys can tell, Har Ohar could use drop a couple 20 pounds. Alright guys. Well we got the, the last hole drilled and just kind of time to see how how that leg is going to fit in there the best about like that so now we've got our legs all kind of pounded home now we can set it up right all right so now what to do is kind of go around uh, the feet of each one i'll take a block of wood and uh, a pencil and we'll trace around the bottom so that we kind of get it level Okie dokie there. Let me slide myself out here to the right there, eh? You know, you want to see old Harv. That's the right there. So all we're doing is we're scribing, scribing a line that will make the, the legs sit flat, okay? All right, now that we've got the uh, legs all cut off, I'm just gonna take my block plane here and I'm just gonna chamfer the legs here. So I just went out to the wood pile and I grabbed a, uh, well, <laughs> I'd call it a fresh, fresh log off the wood pile, but there's not a whole lot fresh about it. In fact, it's probably still quite buggy. Uh, it is a piece of walnut. But tonight, now you can see what this log was for. Uh, this is the project that we were making. Obviously, you're not made. It's not made to use it sitting down. I made it for me standing up right here. But that's what it's for. For uh, doing a bit of chopping, 
up here at my height versus on the ground hunched over i wanted a tool that had a backrest on it so i can do this and chop into that and know it's not going to slide off the other thing that uh, i've learned is that when you're using a block like this you want to always stand to the right of it so that if you were to miss the block you would miss your leg and also uh, you don't want to work on this edge you want to work over here so that if you do miss it your, your axe will go into the block one of the things i would still like to do or make is uh, you know maybe a holder that i can slide the axe down into so the axe is ready so when i come up to it i can just pull the axe out and go to work <laughs> i don't know what kind of wood this is still I think it, it's uh, apple is what I believe this is, or not apple, pear. We had a decorative pear tree that came down. I think this is a stump from it. All right, guys, well, that's going to wrap it up for another video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and click that bell icon if you'd like to be notified when I post my next video. And uh, I think you'll want to be sure that you're a subscriber and that you hit that bell button because the next video that I post is going to be about a, a giveaway that I'm going to do. I've surpassed a thousand subscribers, so it's time for me to do a giveaway. Be sure to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram and Facebook if you're not already on there. And as always, thanks for hanging with Har.